All right, welcome to episode 118. So primarily in this episode, I'm going to be installing all this track and testing as I go. So episode 117, I showed you a test train. Now we're going to be doing more test trains. But in the meantime, I'm going to get back to work as I have quite a few pieces of track to put in. And I'm just focusing on the main line. So I'm starting over here in this section here. I'm starting to drop in the uh, the larger sections and then um, we'll move on from there we'll be back all right so I'm back and uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm taking my three foot section of flex track and I'm making the larger pieces that are going to go around the uh, the curves on the layout what I don't want to happen is I don't want to have uh, bends in the rail that shouldn't be there. So I want to make sure that the rail glides uh, in a nice curvature. And uh, how I'm accomplishing that is by uh, soldering uh, three sections together. And uh, after I solder this together, I, then I'll show you how I install it. Now the area that I'm working on um, is the uh, lower Bridgeport yard, which will be the lower Bridgeport yard. My original yard on the old layout was four tracks. And this one, unfortunately, is only three. But I realized that what I lost uh, on the old layout, I gained back here in length. So um, I, I still think I can fit a, a couple good sized trains down in the yard. So my original thought that it was going to be a smaller than expected actually proved to be wrong. So that's a good thing. So um, I'm going to just show you how I solder. Um, and there's other ways of soldering. And I'm sure... Everyone has a different type of way or there's different experts out there that show you different ways of soldering, which is great. Um, I'm not an expert in anything when it comes to soldering. I just know what I know. So my way is just a way. It's not the way. There's many ways to solder. So, but anyway, let me, uh, let me show you what I'm working on. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some flux on the joints. And this is what I'm using. So I'm gonna just put flux. I'm just only gonna put solder on the outside. I did a test piece and it seemed to be okay. I'm gonna try to stay away from the inside only because I don't wanna glob up solder and then, and then I have an issue. All right, so I'm going to put some solder on my solder and iron tip. And then I'm going to do the first one. And what I like to do is just hold it there for about five seconds. Just got a little on the top of the rail. It's a little, uh, there we go, that's better. I'm still uh, teaching myself how to solder the proper way and I'm definitely a lot better than I was. A lot better. So. All right, so this is the piece that I just uh, finished. And it might have been a little bit heavy on the solder right there. Um, so I may have to, uh, I have to adjust that. It comes up all the way up here. So that's gonna work out really good. So let me start uh, making extra pieces and then uh, start installing all this track. We'll be right back. All right, so last night, the only thing I did was solder track together um, so I can come in here today and actually um, install it all. So I wanted to make sure that uh, all the pieces that were uh, need to be soldered got soldered last night. 
So when I start putting the, uh, the track on the curves, I'm not getting any kinks in the track and whatnot. So I ended up working with about 110 feet of track last night, plus or minus a few pieces, but uh, it was quite a bit of uh, soldering. So now I'm gonna have the uh, task of getting all this track in and then get starting to test it some more. So I think the first section that I'm gonna put in is probably gonna be Jenkins Curve. So uh, let's get started. All right, so it's the next day. I was able to get in some more track. I secured uh, this new crossover and I got all this track installed after work today. I got the bridge connected. The bridge is temporarily uh, hooked in. All I did was put a couple of track nails just to hold it. Um, once I permanently uh, secure it, you know, it'll be a little bit more stronger. And now I'm working on the uh, inside track right now. So I got to this switch. And now the next thing I'm working on is uh, making this custom piece uh, for this area here. So this switch is going to feed uh, in industry in the uh, Bridgeport section, as well as this switch here. So let me get back to work installing this, and then uh, the next step is I'm going to put a huge piece all the way around, a nine-foot piece of uh, track all the way around, and hopefully it connects with the other bridge. So uh, let me get started. All right, so I made it over to near the bridge. So what I'm doing now is preparing this bridge, getting them both actually in there, and then I'm going to make a custom piece for here with this one. I'm going to continue on. I'm gonna to try to get track two done tonight. I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'm gonna try. But before I, once I get to this bridge, uh, I'm gonna run another test train and then uh, we'll have some more fun. So we'll be right back.
All right, so I made it around to this point here. And now the next step is to continue installing this track all the way around. And then, but before I do that, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish doing the outer loop over here. So I'm gonna make sure that this entire section is done up to this point here before I move on. So uh, we'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna call this night good. Got a lot accomplished tonight. I got this entire side of the layout ready to go, tested. Uh, the only thing I have to do is do the wiring end of it. So, uh, so far so good. It's coming out really well. I'm really happy how it looks. Right now I'm just doing some more track testing just to make sure that everything is uh, testing out just fine. So I'm very pleased with the, uh, the results. So as soon as we back the train across the bridge, I'm going to call this video good and then uh, we'll do it again tomorrow. All right, we'll be back. All right, so I got Jenkins curve in. And I have to say, I'm pretty excited about this. This looks really, really cool. So I still have to put random pieces of track in, or random sizes rather. So for instance, over here, I'm gonna be using um, stuff from my old layout just to fill in the blanks here. So I'm not cutting brand new pieces. Um, I have tons of these so they're gonna come in handy uh for, you know for uh patching it up here i got one here too so it's definitely coming together and we get back to work so uh i'll show you the next uh segment All right, so I'm making my way down this way. 
um, I'm trying to put in all the uh, three foot sections first and then coming back after and uh, cutting out the, uh, the small sections like for here and over there. So um, making decent progress. I'm, I'm a little behind schedule, but uh, I did build extra days into the actual uh, project. So I actually built an extra week into the project and that's uh, giving me extra time. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll make my deadline, but let me keep working and then uh, I'll show you some more progress. All right, so I'm putting in two more mains on this side now. And uh, this is definitely uh, coming along really good. So I'm using these uh, track gauges. Uh, one side that is down on, on the railhead now is uh, two inches on center. And then the, uh, the one in the center, if you flip it over, that'll be inch and a half on center for like yards and stuff like that. So, but I like to keep most of my stuff at two inches on center uh, for track spacing. So, but anyway, let me get back to work and then uh, I'm gonna cut the, uh, the next piece uh, to be fitted on the main. We'll be back. All right, so I got the, uh, the loop around the engine house completed. I got all the track in. I did some track work over at the old original crossing that was here. So some of the original uh, track work is uh, still on here. I'm just gonna come around here. So we're worried about the outer right now. So there's my uh, test train all ready to go. So we're going to test the, uh, we're going to test the track out. And it goes all the way up on the incline there. So I'm a little behind schedule, but I'll be, uh, I'll be done hopefully soon. So let's test this train and then, uh, I'm going to hit the, uh, hit the bed because it is late. So we'll be back. All right, so I was able to get all the, uh, or most of all the uh, pieces in. I have to about, I don't know, about eight more to go. And then uh, the track work will be complete for the main line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this train around again, and then I'm gonna bring another train down as well. So uh, let's get started.
All right, so I still need to uh, install cork for this uh, siding here. And then this switch here is new and that's gonna be feeding uh, the motor storage in New Haven. So I'm gonna put a piece of uh, flex track in here. I got this switch in place and that's gonna feed the uh, motor storage. So I will be uh, putting catenary down here, but I could probably fit one more small sw uh, switcher uh, in this area if I want to max it out. So uh, I think I think it came up pretty good. And that uh, FL9 is actually an original Huntington and Hartford uh, locomotive. And I got the jets. All right, so let's uh, wrap up this video. All right, so the main line track is in. It's all been tested. No issues at all, not even one derailment. So that worked out pretty well. So I'm gonna wrap up this video now. Um, I have my uh, test trains sitting down in front of the station. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to wrap up this video, but the next video, what you're going to see is the actual uh, wiring phase of this all this track. So I'm going to be uh, using uh, NCE DCC and um, I'm going to be dropping the feeders and running the buses. So also in the next video, I'm going to be also doing the uh, fascia installation. All right, so once the fascia is uh, completed, um, by then I'll know if this video is going to be a premiere or not. So, uh, but I'll post, uh, on my, uh, community page if this next video will be a premiere. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ron Haven Rails. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next layout update.